think it's doing it. Hello and happy Sunday, everybody. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. And today is Sunday, December the 27th. And I'm so happy to report that Casey appears to have fixed the connection between the Mevo and Facebook. So let's see if we can, if we're going to get notifications. This is pretty exciting. Hopefully we will be able to get comments tonight too. Um, but hello again, hello and happy Sunday. I'm so excited that we are actually um, live on the Mevo tonight. Um, yeah, Casey fiddled with it for hours. I think it was hours to get it to, you know, to get it to work. So hopefully, hopefully we will be able, oh, there's Debbie. Hello, Orlando Debbie. Um, so good, we are gonna be able to get um, comments tonight. That is so exciting because we couldn't get them last week. Hello, Lisa. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. Um, so excited, yeah, and Barbara is saying hello from the crossroads, and she's in her happy place because she loves all of the camper things um, up top. And hello, Sherry. Hello, Betty. Um, Betty Ann. Yep, and hello, Irma. So y'all are, it's funny because y'all are coming up up here again and down here on my phone, which is A-OK. -okay. Hello, Carol Lou. Um, but so happy that Casey got this fixed. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Casey. And hopefully it will stay fixed. Hello, Tammy, and hello, Marlene from Florida. We are headed your way in a couple of days, hopefully. Hello, Irma. Hello, Sherry from Connecticut. Yep, if I didn't already say hello to you. Um, trying to watch both screens. Hello, Kathy. Oh, and if you were at our 2.30 Zoom today, oh, and hello, Kathy from Iowa. So if you were, and Sylvia from Oklahoma, hello, hello, another Kathy. Oh, first of all, if you're brand new, because we had, so last week we had technology just craziness. please, please, please let everybody know that you are brand new because we would love to welcome you. We would love to say hello. And if you are, oh, and there's Roberta from Missouri and Vicki from St. Louis. Um, so that's what all the highs and hellos are about. And um, if you are watching this later on YouTube, if you don't want to say hi and hello, whatever, just go ahead and grab that scroll bar and go on over to about 10 minutes. That's when it dies down. And Debbie was getting ready to say, you're in the loft tonight. Yes, Debbie, we are in the loft tonight. Yep, yep, we decided to do one more from home so that we could have all of our stuff packed up because we were supposed to be leaving in four days. And hello, Elaine. So good to see you all. If you all were at, whoop, whoop, there's Tedders. Hello, Tedders. Hello, Trish, good to see you again. If you all were at our 2.30 Zoom meeting for Knoxville today, um, and we have um, talked and talked and talked about this, so I'm not gonna go into um, very much detail tonight. Hello, Barbara. Another Barbara, hello, Pam. And so if you all um, have watched for the last couple of weeks, um, then, oh yeah, sorry, and Sylvia, it's this, not the same kitchen. This is my home kitchen. This is my home kitchen, and I'm sorry. Okay, so a couple of people are complaining. up the Mevo should still be recording at regular time so that shouldn't actually be a problem but hello Deborah hello Mindy and hello Evie but if you all had um uh hello Rita so um Casey had to watch So a couple people are saying I'm freezing up. There's not much I can do about that. So and Lynn, uh, Mindy. getting worse. Oh, I really hate that. And Aloha Kathy. Hello Deborah. Um hello Catherine from Wisconsin. Hello Mary. Okay, and I know people are just hates me sometimes. Um so it hate it hated us a lot worse last week. So hopefully hopefully um it will um and aloha, Kathy. Hopefully it's going to, you know, keep recording so that we can keep talking because I want you all to definitely see um, the second half. And um, the second half of the chat is going to be, you know, super fun. So let me see if I can actually see what's going on here. 
Let's see. Yeah, so I'm not freezing up. Like, I can see myself talking. talking so I don't know why it is Sunday it is December the but we should be able to broadcast about last week was um chat 204 and it was lost on facebook so facebook was facebook was really really angry with me last week there was a new facebook update and it did not like the mevo camera and nobody instead of at home apparently our um internet at casey kitchen center is much better anyway i'm just going to keep talking because we are recording as we're doing this so i need to know if you can see me if you can see me if i'm not frozen up um who got to sit their bottom in a chair last week so i know that the number of the number of in-person workshops has really really been cut it's been cut a lot but you know due to covid so i need to know who you know who sat their bottom in a little chair last week so give me a thumbs up if you sat your bottom in a little chair go ahead and do some thumbs ups at the bottom of your screen so i will show you how to do that there's a little thumbs up so that's if you sat your bottom in a chair last week or if you att attended a zoom workshop last week you can go ahead and do a thumbs up for that so it looks like some of you all can see me because you are answering with thumbs ups and hearts if you were with us live last week um or if you did both let's see some hearts so let's see some hearts going up for that. Looks like several of you did. So do you all know how great that is that you attended either a, a an in-person workshop, a Zoom workshop, or, oh, Linda, God, Linda, I'm still so jealous of you getting to sit your bottom in a chair. But anyway, that is so important. Y'all did that the week of Christmas. So this is a major holiday. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas, it was all around you it was all around you so everybody who either attended a zoom went to a physical workshop attended with us live watched later bravo everyone for doing that on a holiday week a big 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 holiday week so we have almost survived the holidays almost we are super super close and we have almost survived 2020 i know when the clock ticks over to january the first that doesn't mean that all of the 2020 issues go away but you know, I don't know. It's going to make a lot of us feel a little bit better. So, okay. Super glad that you're all here. And it's funny because everybody's complaining about it freezing up, but nobody's complaining about the volume. So hopefully that means that the microphone is working well since it is recording. I do want you all to stay um, um, here for the second half because we're going to be making some fun things in the second half. Yeah, some fun, fun things. So I hope that you all will stay. But again, bravo everyone who, you know, who attended. That was, that was an awesome and great job. So last week though, um, was, uh, to see, so last week was chat number 204 and it was find the JOMO. So it was, it was, ha it was find the JOMO. So it was the joy of missing out. So instead of, um, oh, and good. Okay. So apparently it has quit buffering. So whoever was praying for stop buffering, thank you, because it is, better apparently and hello Marlene um but so last week we were talking about the joy of missing out so how you know instead of being upset and depressed you know when you didn't get to go to Christmas when you um didn't get to travel you know or things like that you know happen or when uh your Facebook to Mevo didn't work you know things like that so we were talking about the joy of missing out on things and how you know sometimes that can be better so a lot of us were saying you know we're saying um and, you know, instead of being upset about some of the things that we missed, a lot of us were going, shoo, you know what? Um, this holiday was pretty relaxing because, you know, I didn't feel pressured to, you know, and fill in the blank. So I didn't feel pressured to put on a performance for a lot of people because we haven't had a normal Christmas in a while. Or I didn't feel pressured to go to other people's houses, you know, when there was going to be, when there were going to be too many people there. Um, 
So your homework for chat number 204, which was last week, it was hashtag JOMO, J-O-M-O, and it's the joy of missing out. So for your homework last week, you were supposed to find the joy of missing out on something that you decided to say no to. Um, and because uh, because Facebook kind of upchecked last week, um, I didn't get to see a lot of them, but a lot of you all did do your homework. Um, some of you have resent it to me so that I can see it, but let's see how you all did with your homework. So Lynn was going to be by herself this Christmas. And instead of being upset and depressed and everything that she, you know, that she didn't get to go travel and be with, you know, with family, um, she did want a pecan, pecan pie. So pecan pie was the one thing that she decided that she was really going to miss. And um, so when she did her grocery order this, this last week for Christmas, she noticed that, and I think it was Kroger. Am I right, Lynn? I know you're there. I think it was Kroger had individual pecan pies. So instead of getting a whole pecan pie, and then, you know, likely sitting and making tiny slices and eating the entire thing, she got an individual pecan pie and she enjoyed it. So she definitely had the joy of missing out. Katie had to miss Christmas this year because she couldn't travel um, and she um, she couldn't travel to Iowa Iowa for Christmas this year, but she went ahead and yes and Lynn said yes it was Kroger, um, but Katie said that she got an opportunity to do something she doesn't often have a chance to do and that is to deep clean her apartment and she even got her oven clean so she is starting 2021 with she's starting 2021 literally with a clean slate, literally with a clean slate so that was awesome Katie and then Kelly. Uh -huh, this one over here. Kelly missed her family Christmas, but I will tell you why we had the joy of missing out. First, well, hello, Michelle. First, as Casey was delivering presents, um, we found out, so she was just taking them and leaving them on patios or doorsteps. She was not going into people's houses. Um, but as Casey was delivering presents, we found out that one of her cousins had tested positive for COVID. So, shoo, we narrowly escaped that one. And I was delivering, we waited until the very last minute to deliver customer presents um, from Casey Kitchen Center. One of the customers that we were delivering presents to found out his wife was positive for COVID and they were quarantined at home. If we had not waited, if we had not missed out on otherwise, you know, where we would have run, 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 and tried to hurry and get all of this stuff done and attend all of these things, we would have been exposed not once, but twice to COVID. So our joy of missing out we took our time, got things done, delivered them and dropped them off instead of going inside of people's houses. And um, because we had the joy of missing out, we are still on track to leave to go to Disney in four days. Four days. Could not be more excited. John, who's excited to go to Disney? Uh, okay, I don't know if y'all could hear that or not. He went... I am. He is really excited to go to Disney. So we decided we decided as a family that we were going to protect ourselves at all costs so that we did not uh, miss this trip because we've had, you know, like everybody else, we've had a rough year this year. But anyway, so everyone who did your homework, bravo, bravo. Here are more bravo stickers. And if you are new, we do have bravo stickers available on ifyouhaveanegg.com. If you do your homework, you get a super cool badge that, um, that Casey makes for us each week. Um, Joy of missing out, please um, go ahead and um, redo that. You know, resend me that so that I can issue your, um, you know, your badges. For, you know, for this week, and um, go ahead and give you your badges. And we also had a really cute badge for the bingo game. So if you got bingo, and if I did not get, if I did not get a chance to give you your bingo card, um, go, you know, go ahead and, and tell me bingo, and I'll give you your bingo badge as well. Okay, and. Let's see. And yes, Lynn, that is exactly why we were getting the camper out of the ice today during the Zoom meeting. That's exactly why. Okay, so congratulations again, everybody, that everybody, to everyone who did your homework. Please always do your homework um, and go ahead and tag me in that, and we'll tell you how to do that later. Um, but this week's topic is this is this is chat number two hundred five. Um, we will try to have two hundred six from the campground. If I'm already having issues. With the internet, we'll we'll see. I don't know. Maybe I might have to go like to downtown, D or I'm sorry, Disney Springs, or some somewhere where there's better internet to try and do to do the chat. But if if all else fails, we will go ahead and record it on the Mevo and just publish it from you all later. And hello, Teresa from Kentucky. So 
But this week is chat number 205, and it is titled, Say Hello to Unhelpful Thoughts. And when I saw that one, and even going to Gwen's Zoom meeting last Sunday, I thought, say hello to unhelpful thoughts? That just sounds counterintuitive. You know, that doesn't sound like that's what you should be doing. But um, if you're like me, when an unhelpful thought, um, when an unhelpful, oh, hello, Rita. When an unhelpful thought pops into your head, um, you're going to do one of two things. If you're like me, number one, you pick another unhelpful thought to keep the first one company. So instead of just having one unhelpful thought, you have a second one to, you know, to keep it company. Or number two, you try to push the unhelpful thought so far down that it won't resurface. But number one starts a vicious cycle for me, um, you know, of refusing to admit that I had the thought by you guessed it, having more thoughts, and then those thoughts lead to more thoughts, and then I feel bad about them, and then you feel guilty about them, and it's just a vicious cycle. Number two always involves food. Hello, Karen. Oh, Karen's from Knoxville and just joined W. But number two always, invo it always involves using food to push down the feelings. So Gwen talked about this last week um, in our Zoom meeting here in Knoxville, um, you know, talking about using food to push down feelings. Do you know what I mean? So you like, you use it to, you know, to kind of push them down and kind of shove them down. Um, and it usually pushes it down, 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 down. And then it makes me so sick that I usually don't remember what the unhealthy thought was to begin with. So. Um, what if we say, so Weight Watchers WW wants us to think this week about what if we say hello to the unhelpful thought um, and say, hey, hello, unhelpful thought. What, what were you doing there? What were you doing there? And what should we do about you, little, about you, little fella? Um, so the first thing I'm going to tell you to do, and hello, Jennifer, the first thing I'm going to tell you to do is name it. So if you notice, I called it little fella because the unhelpful thought is rarely as big of a deal as I'm making it out to be. Um, number two is claim it. So if it helps to write it down, then write it down. So think reasons that you might write it down. And man, I am flying through the first half of this. Um, reason, so I'm going to slow down a little bit. So reasons that it might, um, that you might want to write it down um, are if you don't know why you're having the unhealthy thought. So let's say, for example, open popsicles here. Popsicle, did you see that? Did you see that Alyssa was wearing her skirt? Did I post the pictures of Alyssa wearing her skirt? It was super, super cute. We went downtown and went around. So thank you very much for that. Um, but anyway, but the claim it is if it, if it helps you, write it down. So, you know, say, for instance, if the un, if the un, if the unhelpful thought is something like, you know, I didn't track today. Oh, I didn't track today. And if another unhelpful thought is getting ready to come into your head, you know, like, like I said, sometimes my unhelpful thoughts get friends. You know, they have to bring a friend along with them. So it would be like, oh, I didn't track today. Forget it. I'm just not going to track the rest of the week or the rest of the month or the rest of 2020 or whatever. Instead, write it down. So on the, you know, on the claim it part of it is write it down and say, um, you know, okay, so I didn't track today, but I'm going to claim this and I'm going to say I didn't track today, but you know what? I can start tomorrow. I have the app on my phone, so I can just go ahead, you know, go ahead and start tracking for tomorrow, or I can track my next meal, or, you know, that recipe that I made in the recipe builder, I'm going to go ahead and track it. So, you know, you know, name it, go ahead and say, all right, this isn't as bad as it, you know, it sounds like it's, you know, as I built it up to be in my head, claim it, write it down, write down how it's really making you feel, you know, maybe you, you know, need to write down, you know, when I don't track, it makes me feel angry or sad or frustrated or, um, you know, lost or, you know, whatever. And then write down, um, you know, it makes me feel so, if it is um, behind, if it makes me feel so behind, then you could say, so I'll track my next meal. Or if it makes me feel so... Uh, disappointed in myself you can say well but you know what I tracked all of these days leading up to it and I can start tracking again tomorrow so just go ahead okay Sylvia so Sylvia ate Christmas cookies today okay she ate Christmas cookies today so let's just use Sylvia's example here so we're gonna name it um Sylvia ate Christmas cookies we're gonna claim it when Sylvia eats Christmas cookies one day it makes her feel 
apparently disappointed because that's what it sounded like in her in her typing um, so it makes her feel disappointed so the next thing is to reframe it and to reframe it you just have to write it down and then you have to let it go so seriously so if i did the i don't want i didn't track today and it made me feel so sad or so miserable or so behind or whatever hello other barbara hello um i can say but i've already tracked breakfast for tomorrow so i'm back on track so sylvia in her example could say you know when she names it oh i ate christmas cookies today so she could say i i ate christmas cookies today and it made me feel so out of control so I don't know. I mean, I don't know exactly how it made her feel, but then she can reframe it and say, but I sent, I ate Christmas cookies today and it made me feel, made, made her feel nauseous. I don't know. It made me feel so nauseous or it made me feel so out of control, but I sent the rest of them home with the kids or I uh, gave them to my neighbor or we're done. We're done with Christmas. So whatever it is, reframe it, come back around. Um, okay. So Yes, so Sylvia said it made her feel out of control. So then the next thing to reframe it, then she can say, Sylvia said it made me feel out of control. So I'm gonna send the cookies home with the kids. Or we're gonna say, Christmas is done. Christmas is done. Today's the 27th. We're done, we've had all of our Christmases. And so no more cookies in the house or whatever it is to help her to reframe it. So your homework for this week, and I am seriously going so fast, but this is awesome because the second half has lots of stuff that I want to get done while it's not buffering. Um, so your homework for this week is hashtag say hello. So remember this started out being titled say hello to unhelpful thoughts, which does sound like an oxymoron. It sounds like something that you shouldn't do. See, okay, Sylvia is going to trash the rest of it. So your homework is hashtag say hello, and you're going to find whatever your thing is, you know, whatever that unhelpful thought is that you're thinking right now, or that you thought a couple of days ago, or that's going to come up, you know, in the next couple of days. And you're going to name it. You're going to say what it is. You're going to write it down. So you're going to claim it, claim what that unhelpful thought was, and then you're going to reframe it. So you're going to finish saying, and thank you, Melanie, for posting, or thank you, Michelle, for posting that. Um, then you're going to reframe it. So you're going to write, write it down, and then you're going to say, you know, eating cookies made me feel out of control. Thank you, Lynn. So I'm going to throw them away or I'm going to send them home with the kids or, you know, whatever it's going to be. So mine, I guess for last week would have been Facebook not connecting to Mevo made me feel so out of control, so frustrated. So I'm not going to stuff my feelings. I'm not going to get upset and go Mevo and Facebook, Mevo and Facebook, Mevo and Facebook. I've got to eat these feelings and shove them down. Instead, I just assigned Casey to work on it for a couple of weeks. So that was my naming it and claiming it. Okay, well, anyway, that's your homework for this week. Don't forget if you're going to tag me on Instagram, it is at if you have an egg. If you were tagging me here on the Facebook page, it is still at if the at sign if you have an egg. If you are um, tagging me on the in the closed Facebook group, it is at Kelly Green Milligan. And before you get the green topped in, I should pop up and you should be able to tag me there. Um, if you're going to tag me on WW Connect, it is at if you have an egg thanks to thanks to debbie who showed me how to change my name and it was so simple i felt silly but anyway she showed me how to do it um or if you are on youtube you can just go ahead and comment or if you um, find this on if you have an egg.com you can just go ahead and comment and casey will be working on a super cool badge for us remember go back and do your homework from last week if i missed you and that one that one was hashtag jomo um oh hold on a second kathy said that she read in a magazine when the world hold on when the world in her case i say says give up hope whispers try one more time that is really good i like that one kathy um but uh but go back into your homework from last week if i didn't already give it to you since we kind of since i kind of up chucked on facebook and that was hashtag jomo the joy of missing out there is already a super cool badge for that one if you bingoed last week Please remember to tell me bingo so that I can give you your bingo badge. And this week, the badge is going to be for hashtag say hello. So again, new people, if there are any new people, always do your homework. You can't get the super cool badge unless you do your homework. Um, always remain calm when I'm freaking out about the technology because it's going to happen. And hopefully the Mevo camera was recording without buffering this whole time. Um, and we do a second half. So for the second half this week, I have... All of this setup. I know we have five minutes until the second half is technically supposed to start, but we're going to go ahead and start. 
A, it would be super, super nice if we could end a little bit early. And B, um, I'm afraid that I have planned too much stuff to be able to get it done in 30 minutes. So, so if there's anybody new here, we also get a drink of water at the halfway point. So I'm gonna get my drink of water and I'm definitely gonna need it with all this other stuff we're gonna be trying. And yes, it is. It is Sandra, it is time for some water. So y'all go ahead and get your water too. I'm gonna be making a little bit of a mess tonight, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my apron on. We are not actually cooking anything um, tonight. Oop, and Carol got her syrups this week. So Carol, I don't remember what flavors did you get? Because we are definitely using all skinny syrups for this. So again, if you are new, please let us know. Please just say, "Hey, I'm new. What's going on? What are you guys doing? This seems crazy. I don't know what you're going. I don't know what we're doing." And we will welcome you, and we will let you know what we are doing, what we are doing, and what we what is going on. So, this is the second half of chat number two hundred five, and chat number two hundred five was titled. Um, Say hello to unhelpful thoughts. Oop, and Barbara got hers too this week. So the second half of this, we are not cooking, but we are going to be making four different things. So I don't know if y'all have noticed this or not, but Christmas is over. I think all of the winter holidays are over with the exception of um, New Year's. So, um, and Mary, oh, I'm sorry. Mary wants to know if we can ship to Canada yet. Oh, wait, Carol got two pumpkin ones and the unicorn. Oh, yeah. And she got some Dax ste Steakhouse. Love, 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 yeah. And Myrna loves her maple bourbon con. So Mary wants to know if we can ship to Canada yet. Um, Jessica is working on that. So Jessica um, has changed the way, or she is changing the way that our shipping will work um, starting the second week of January. So hopefully the shipping will be a little bit more reasonable unless you all choose to have things shipped um, by priority mail. Um, but part of that is she has to get that part done first and then she will start working on Canada. So yeah, so fingers crossed we will be able to ship to Canada soon. Okay, so all of the winter holidays are done. It's time for New Year's. So it is time for 2021. It is time to kiss 2020 goodbye and welcome in 2021. Um, and even if you're gonna do it alone, um, or if you're gonna do it with your, like we have our circle of five that we've been hanging out with. Um, so, you know, no matter how you were celebrating this year, um, I got you covered. Everything that we are gonna be using in this second half is gonna be made with skinny syrups. So y'all have seen, if you've been around for very long, you've seen me using skinny syrups at Casey, Casey Kitchen Center. Um, people ask me all the time when they come in, they think we have a bar set up. So, because we use so many of them at work. Um, and that's at KC Kitchen Center, and you can find them at kckitchencenter.com, or you can go to, if you have an egg.com, and go to the shop section. Um, but people come in, and they look, and they look in our window, in our kitchen window, and they're like, what are y'all running a bar in here or something? Because we use so many of them. Then the second question out of their mouths is usually, well, what, what do you put them in? And I tell them everything. So we put them in yogurt, in plain non-fat, um, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, the um, especially the sugary ones or like the peppermint. Oh, I made peppermint, peppermint overnight oats with the um, with the peppermint bark one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And hold on a second. Let's see. Oh yeah, Vicky's saying definitely. Um, but yeah, they're good in everything. They're, they are good in coffee. They are good in tea. They're good in, I mean, they're just good in so many things. And if you go to the Skinny Syrups um, website, if you go to skinnymixes.com, then they have lots of, they have lots of recipes on there. And Barbara is reminding me because it's, because now it's time to start the second half to drink my water. So I'm not going to disagree with her. Thank you for the reminder, Barbara. Um, but if you go to skinnymixes.com, you can see lots and lots and lots of recipes for things like icing um oh yeah myrna put hers in oatmeal instead of milk yum that would be so delicious so so delicious the flavored oatmeal we do put it in water um all the time at um casey kitchen center we are putting it in our putting it in our water um this morning Alyssa wanted um red juice so she had casey put some of the candy apple in her um in her water for today um but yeah but we put it in we put it in like literally everything um it is sugar-free 
and they do have keto um, friendly flavors that have whatever the three letter thing is for keto i don't do keto I've never done keto so i don't know what the three letter thing is but they do have some of those the ones that we have at casey kitchen center if you were in knoxville you can pick them up monday through saturday we have them there you know in stock um but i'm going to show you how to make four more point friendly um drinks for new year's eve um y'all know i don't really drink often so but a couple of them do have alcohol in them you can make them without you can make these without alcohol um, John is going to be my taste tester on one of them because it has a carbonated beverage in it and I can't drink anything carbonated, but we're going to have so much fun with this. Okay. The first one that I want to show you is I'm going to do the coffee one first. I'm actually going to skip. Oh, you're going to have to hold on for just a second. I forgot to get two of the things out. I'll be right back. Hold please. So two of the things that I needed before we get started um, was um, ice and fat-free um, half and half. So if you can't find fat-free half and half, I recommend that you ask your grocer. Um, we did not have that. We did not have it at the Food City across the street from KC Kitchen Center for the longest time, and kept asking and kept asking. And now not only do they have it in um, Lando Lakes, which is this. This is fat free half and half. This is what I'm talking about. So now not only do they have the Linda Lakes brand, they also have their own store brand. So you just have to keep asking, you have to keep bugging them. And let's see. Ooh, Lynn used them in use the skinny syrups in the muffin mix. Um in her used them instead of water in her muffin mix. And Barbara says, I'm praying that 2021 is great for y'all and we are open on Mondays. Yes, Barbara, we are open on Mondays now. I'm not there on Mondays, but we are open on Mondays. Okay. The first one that we're gonna make that we're gonna make. Um, I'm going to go ahead um, and make the one that John is going to try so that we can get that out of the way. It is going to be a skinny butter beer. So we're headed to Disney in four days. Well, we're leaving in four days. We won't be in Disney for five days, right? Hopefully, fingers crossed, prayer said, yeah, hoping that we're going to get to go. So yeah. we're not going to Harry Potter World this time. Um, but we, um, oh, bye, Alicia. We're not going to go to Harry Potter World this time. Um, but you know, in celebration of getting to go on a trip and of the new year. I thought it would be fun to make some butter beer. So we're going to do, this is a, sk a skinny butter beer. And again, you can find these recipes. You will be able to find these recipes on if you have an egg.com. Um, Jessica will get these posted over the next couple of days. Um, they are, a version of them is also on um, the skinnymixes.com um, website. And so the first one, the butter beer is one, um, it's, the butter beer is one smart point per serving um, for any, for blue, green, or purple. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is you're going to get some kind of a mug. So you can get either, you know, like this one's just a plastic mug. You can use a glass mug. You can do something fancy if you want to. Um, but for the butter beer, you're going to use um, the Jordan Skinny Syrup. You're going to do butter toffee. And so you need one to two tablespoons of the butter toffee. And I did not have a pump for this one. But remember, two pumps is a tablespoon. And Barbara wants to know if we're going to Disney and Universal Studios. We are not going to Universal Studios. That's why we are making a butter beer because we will not be there to drink one. Um, and then we're going to use soup. Oop, oop, oop. You have to wait, you have to hold the vanilla for later. So we're going to do butter toffee. And I'm sorry, let me hold this up and show it to you. So this is skinny syrup butter toffee. Then we're going to use, we're going to do um, one to two tablespoons of the car of caramel syrup. And two pumps, two pumps is a tablespoon. Okay, we're going to put that in there. And then we're going to do, um, we're going to do one, about a cup and a half of diet cream soda okay this is the reason diet cream soda is the reason that i can't try this one i can't have anything carbonated so john is going to try this one for us so i'm going to put this in here next so i've already got my butter toffee and my caramel in my mug Okay, 
So we've already got that in there. Fat free. I'm going to take two ounces of fat free half and half. And I see that we got interrupted, so I didn't do much while y'all were gone. But I'm going to take two ounces of fat free half and half. And a teaspoon, about a teaspoon of monk fruit sweetener. I'm going to put that in there. And, whoop, sorry about that. And I'm going to stir that up really well. And we're going to make a cream. So if you're not doing WW, if you're doing um, keto instead, you can actually use a fourth of a cup of heavy cream and a tablespoon of powdered erythritol. Okay, and to this, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of the vanilla. So we have the butter toffee is already in here. The caramel's already in here. We're gonna add the vanilla to the fat-free half and half and the monk fruit. And we're gonna stir this up really good. Now, if this, if we were doing the, um, if we were doing the keto version of this, it would make a cream. So you would use a, um, bye, Betty Ann. This would actually form a cream. Okay, so I'm going to pour this in here. And now we're going to get John, and I'm going to gently stir this, and we're going to get John to come over here and taste this. So hopefully this is going to taste just like butterbeer. Mm -hmm. Again, I've never had butterbeer, so I have no idea what it tastes like. John has had butterbeer. Seriously? Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, well, John says it tastes like oh. butterbeer, so cheers to the sweet. Yeah, sweet. Okay, so these are all sugar for hopefully to still recording, and the stream has resumed. Anyway, so John said it is sweet, so wish I could taste it. It smells good. It smells like a candle. Okay, so that is the skinny butter beer. So we'll put it back over here. Okay, the next one I can definitely drink. I can definitely drink the next one. Okay, and John, they're saying hello. So the next one is a skinny Irish coffee. So you all know how much. Um, I do like the Irish coffee flavor, um, and again, don't drink much alcohol, but I mean, you know, I'm not opposed to it, I just don't drink much alcohol. So, for that one, we're going to take a fun coffee cup. You do not have to do this in a clear coffee cup, but I'm going to do it in a fun clear one just so that y'all can see what this looks like. And this is going to be a skinny, this is the Skinny Mixes um, Irish Coffee. So I'm going to do a tablespoon of the sugar-free Irish cream. And remember, a tablespoon, actually I'm going to do an extra one just because I like it. A tablespoon um, is two pumps. This is the Skinny Syrups Irish Cream. And sorry, I keep looking at the iPad even though I'm supposed to be looking at you all. But that is Skinny Syrups Irish Cream. I went ahead and did three pumps for good measure. Then you're going to add, and John got me all these cute little airplane size bottles since, you know, I don't drink very much. He got me some of these. We're going to add about, so it calls for about two ounces of Irish whiskey, but since I have to try three of these, we're just going to do an ounce in mine. So, that does smell good. So we're going to do an ounce of Irish whiskey. And this one, if you use the two ounce, again, if you use the um, two ounces, um, you can do that in this cup. Then I am going to make a cup of espresso. If you don't have an espresso machine, um, just go ahead and use hot coffee. We did not have an espresso machine until Christmas Day. So I'm feeling pretty lucky about that. Um, I did already go ahead and prep it. So... We are going to make, oops, we're going to make it in this cup. And we're going to make just enough to fill up to about right here. Um, 
And I got to tell you, I didn't realize that I was going to enjoy having an espresso machine as much as I have, but I bet I've had coffee three to four times a day. Yeah. Yep, I bet I've had coffee three to four times a day since Christmas. Okay, and see that nice cream that's on top? Okay, so we're gonna carefully pour this in here. Probably should have done it with my right hand instead of with my left hand. And look what a beautiful, beautiful, what a beautiful cup of coffee that, that makes. And I'm gonna stir that just a little bit and I'll try it for you. But that is a Skinny Mixes Irish coffee, and if you don't want to do the alcohol, you not have to do the alcohol, just add a little bit of, add a little bit of cream, add a little bit of fat-free half and half. Oh yeah, and Sylvia can't have coffee until her tummy's all healed up. I'm so sorry. Oh, that tastes delicious. Mm -mm -mm. Actually, the one the one ounce is just about right. Oh my gosh, that's just about right. That is so good. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I'll finish this one in a little bit. So that is the Irish cream coffee. And you can make it with or without the whiskey. I gotta tell you though, if you weren't feeling good, like if you had COVID or something, you know, that, that would, I don't know. I think that would soothe your throat. I think that would feel really, really good. Okay. I want to make sure that we get the next two done before we run out of time or before we start freezing up again. Okay, the next one is going to be super fun. So when I was looking for some of these to do, this was not one of this was not one of the ones that I was going to do. But when I saw how cute it was, I was like, oh my gosh, you totally have to do this. Okay, this one is called a Jack Frosty. So I was scrolling through the Skinny Mixes website. And again, these, these are on the Skinny Mixes website or they will be on if you have an egg.com um, over the next few days. So Jessica usually posts one at a time. Um, so they'll be on there over the next few days. But this one is called a Jack Frosty. So I went ahead and made a fancy little cup, which is trying to drip now. Um, but I went ahead and made a fancy little cup. John, sorry, I get to lick the icing off my fingers. So John found these cute little cups. Actually, he found all of the cups that we're using, all the glasses that we're using today, including this one. Um, he found all of these at our, at our local Goodwill. Perfectly good, perfectly good glasses. And then you don't have to worry about it if somebody breaks it, no big deal. So this one, I have no idea whose party this was, um, but I just took this little glass and I took, this is sugar-free vanilla icing that I just barely put around the top just barely putting it around the top just enough to let the sugar stick and then I put blue um, sanding sugar on there so that it would be you know even prettier on the glass so what we're gonna do um, to make the Jack Frosty is we're gonna take um, now you can you can blend this um, we tried to do that earlier and Dusty went absolutely crazy so we're not gonna do that this time but you can add all of this to a blender and go ahead and make it into more like a margarita or a um, like a pina colada consistency drink but since Dusty went crazy and we're not gonna do that we're just gonna go ahead and add everything straight to this straight to this cup because um, it's a perfectly good iced drink but the first thing we're gonna do is add a little bit whoop. I'm gonna add some crushed ice to my glass now if we were doing this um, in the blender sorry my ice cubes are trying to be in the way if we were doing this in the blender it wouldn't matter whether or not it was crushed ice but again Dusty had a fit so we are gonna just do crushed ice in this really pretty cup Ah. By the way, 
besties. Oh my goodness. Oh my Okay. So we're going to do some crushed ice. Then we're going to add to this. We're going to add a shot of vodka. And this is regular vodka. So let me see which one's which. Nope, this one's vanilla. Okay, regular vodka. But again, since I don't drink a whole lot, I'm going to do like half of it. So I'm going to do an ounce. So I'm going to do... Nope, already used that one. We're going to use an, use an ounce of vodka. Oh, what the heck. I'm going to use as much as it says to use. Okay. So we're going to do two ounces of vodka. This is regular vodka. Then we're going to do um, two tablespoons of the mermaid. So this is the mermaid skinny syrup. We're going to do two tablespoons of that. So that's going to be four squirts. Okay, so we're going to do four shorts of that. Then, to that one, we're going to add any kind of diet lemonade. So this happens to be lemonade zero. And remember, if you did not have Dusty at home, you could go ahead and mix that in your blender and make a nice iced drink. But since Dusty was having a meltdown, we will not be doing that. Okay, let's see how this one is. And since it has its fancy rim, if you want to, you can either sip it like this and go ahead and get some of that sugar-free vanilla icing. Now the recipe, when I put it on ifyouhaveanegg.com, it only has the shot of vodka, the two tablespoons of sugar-free um, mermaid skinny mixes, um, a half a cup or so of light, any kind of light lemonade, um, and then the cup of ice and blended, it did not have the um, sugar-free icing on there. If you add that, if you're gonna end up eating this or end up licking this off, you need to count those points, which would probably be, I don't know, maybe a point. But let's see. First of all, how fun is that color? So if you all can still see me, and let's see, hold on. Oh, Sherry's got a scoop, so bye Sherry, happy new year. Yep, okay, good, everybody's wishing um, Sylvia well wishes with her healing so first of all how fun is that second of all if you did not want to be oh thank you sylvia if you did not want to put alcohol in this you could totally add some um you could do like some club soda or something you know if you didn't want to do that so this doesn't have to be filled you know doesn't have to have alcohol in it it smells so good um so this would be totally trop you know tropical and refreshing um, for your New Year's Eve party, but let's see how it tastes. Um, oh my gosh, that is so good. Mmm, yeah, mmm, that is super good. Your friends are going to love you if you make this one for them. Okay, so that is the Jack Frosty, and again, you can find this recipe on skinnymixes.com or you will be able to find it over the next couple of days you'll be able to find it on if you have an egg.com and i have one more to make for you real quick after i take another sip of this one mm, that one tastes really good that one's really really good okay and this last one we're going to test my skills so this is not something that i'm that i've ever made. I started saying make very often. So anything that I've ever made. So we're going to test my bartending skills here. And Barbara wants to know how John's mother is. She is actually doing fairly well. From the COVID, she's doing great. Um, I don't think she's had any symptoms, has she? No. no. She's, ha she's had like no COVID symptoms. So that is, you know, an absolute blessing. Um, you know, especially considering she's, you know, she has since she has dementia, I don't, you know, I don't know how confusing that would be to 
to have it and have symptoms but she's but she's doing physically she's doing she's doing really well okay so we're going to test all my skills here this is a martini shaker so i'm fairly new at this okay fairly new and uh, debbie says you could use different flavors of crystal lot within that too yeah that that would be super good so this is a martini shaker so y'all are going to be patient with me because this is only my second time ever using it but the taste though is going to be absolutely amazing so we're going to start again and um, we're going to start again with um two tablespoons of the sugar-free peppermint so we're going to do the peppermint bark so we're going to add that straight in here so that is four pumps so we're going to do four pumps of the sugar-free peppermint bark then we are going to do two more ounces yep and that is my cup we're going to do two more ounces of the fat-free half and half okay so we're going to add that straight in there then we are going to do two ounces of vanilla vodka and so john had to go find this for me and again we have these cute little airplane bottle size because we don't really drink that much <clears throat> so we're gonna put two ounces <coughs> of the vanilla vodka in there and then we are going to add some ice So I've got two, I have two tablespoons or four pumps of the sugar-free peppermint bark, two ounces of fat-free half and half, two ounces of vanilla vodka, <clears throat> and some ice. You put it in a martini shaker. You shake that up really well. Okay. And... Once you have shaken that up really well, you're gonna pour it into your super cute martini glass that John got for, I think, a dollar at our local Goodwill. And then you're going to add one drop of red food coloring And gently stir it and if it's not pink enough you can add another drop be sure and get down there in the bottom okay so you're gonna add one drop of that and then just for fun I'm gonna add just a few sprinkles Of crushed candy canes and now the piece de resistance I feel so fancy with my margarita actually I think this is a daiquiri glass but anyway I think this one is a martini glass oh well you can tell we don't drink a lot okay let's see how this one tastes It is absolutely delightful. Absolutely delightful. So, I'm going to say cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, yep, and Debbie said chocolate syrup would be good in this one, too. That really would be good in this one. So, cheers, everyone. I want to wish you a very happy new year. Thank you for letting me get off here just a few minutes early so that we can get this cleaned up before we go to bed. Um, but hopefully, 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 fingers crossed, we will see you all in just a few days live from Disney. Um, I'm absolutely excited. Again, try to keep our, our circle very small um, so that we can do that. But 
Um, in keeping with this, if you all wouldn't mind to go ahead and go watch this on YouTube, or if you're already watching this on YouTube, again, don't know which way I'm supposed to be pointing, but go ahead and let the next video roll over. Um, Casey will let you know how to do that. She'll get that posted probably sometime tomorrow. Um, Jessica will get this posted to the If You Have an Egg blog. That's just if you have an egg.com. She'll get that posted in the next day or two. And then please go ahead down here somewhere and hit subscribe, hit the subscribe button and go ahead and click that little bell so that it'll notify you um, when we have upcoming videos. And again, just send happy thoughts, prayers, and well wishes our way that we get to go to Disney. Um, everybody's had a crummy year, but John especially. So we really, 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 really appreciate it. Um, and cheers, everybody. Happy New Year. We will see you next Sunday. Cheers. Good night. Have a great week. Good night. See you next time.